from Washington, D.C., this is the Beyond the Dumbbells Show, your source of information and inspiration for living an audacious life. Audacious life. Hear interviews and social banter with special guests on Fitspiration and news from around the globe. Here are your hosts, fitness and lifestyle experts, Brian and Jenny Sweeney. Hey, hey, hey. what's going on, everybody? What's going on? We're on, uh, we're on the mobile setup today. So <laughs> I like our little mobile setup. It's, not, it's probably not going to... It's not going to sound as juicy, rich exactly. as all the other ones. But if it at all comes across, I think we should take, we should take a picture of it <laughs> and show everybody what we're talking into. We could show you how to save a lot of money on, <laughs> on a podcast setup. Exactly. After we spent the other money. That's right. It's all good. Okay. So you're, you kind of came to the table with this idea today. So Yes. So um, for those of you who we are not connected with on um, Facebook in any way, Brian actually issued a pretty cool challenge to me which was um, a One Funnel Away Challenge, which is um, something that Russell Brunson, who is pretty awesome, pulled together. And um, because of this One Funnel Away Challenge, it got me thinking that what do I really want to do with my life other besides the gym? Um, What kind of legacy do I want to leave behind, if any? Awesome. Um, And... Because this is this challenge, am I really all in, and am I really committed to this thing? The the challenge itself, it's it's uh, for those that don't know, um, it's thirty days of you have to do everyday homework. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a there's an end result, which is at the end of thirty days you have this business that you go online with. Yep. And the work is that you have to obviously this this isn't for our brick and mortar business it's not for the gym exactly this is hey what's fun what um what skill do you have that you're good at that you've done your whole life that would educate somebody else on how to do it so if you were going to shortcut somebody to your skill yes exactly this this one funnel uh 30 day challenge this one funnel away challenge um it makes you think a lot and it's been welcome because we think I'm still centered in fitness, mm-hmm. but you have to think outside of the box now about what you want your future to really look like. Exactly. And just something different other than uh, brick and mortar, like you said. So is there something else? It's not that we, I, I'm speaking for both of us, it's not that we both don't love it, but it's like, oh, how can you know we reach more people and in what ways do we want to reach them? That's the whole so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Br- it, bigger, just a broader audience. Exactly. Great. So what was this this thought you had then? What, what was it about the, the challenge? So the biggest thing, and I, I glossed over it really fast, um, was what does it mean to be all in? That's, so, okay, you know what I mean? So people, instead of just saying like, yeah, of course, B, I'm, I'm all in with you on this and I want to do this challenge too. What does that actually look like and what does that actually mean? If you say like, I am all in. I don't think a lot of people really mean that anymore. Um, I I think that's the difference between entrepreneurs Mm -hmm. and athletes Mm -hmm. and um, I guess you've got it on the corporate and business side too, but the the people that stand out in life, the exceptional people, that's what all in looks like. Um, So I guess our story, we've told Mm -hmm. it a little bit what all in looks like. Um, We'll we'll try to cover, I guess we we were thinking life, health, career, family. Mm -hmm. There's areas that you can be all in. The balance is, are you all in in the right places? Yep. And... Can you be all in in one area where you hurt the others? Oh, yeah. And are you, if you're looking at your own life and stuff, are you actually all in or do you just think that you are? That's the scariest place to be because that to me says you bull jiving. You're a bull (laughs) jiving master. (laughs) So, okay. So let's just kind of review um, our our background. And we we were well-to-do dinks. (laughs) <laughs> right, that was what we call ourselves, super dinks. Yes. Um, just, so, for, yeah, can I can I talk about yeah, that? Yeah. So, a dink means um, dual or double income, no kids. That's it. So you got money, and the only two people you have to spend it on are you and your your man or your lady. It was us. So we were dinks, <laughs> and um, we, we were doing well enough that we called ourselves super dinks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we gave all that up, and uh, I should say I gave it up, and Jen followed me. Um, <laughs> But the idea was we had an idea. Um, to make that idea happen, we had to go all in. Um, exactly. I had tried um, a ton of different businesses before we opened up the gym, and they were all dabblers. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was where um, I would approach it like it was an augment uh, to our lifestyle. 
It was just a supplemental, you know, so it's like, hey, I'm going to do this thing over here. It'll supplement our income a little bit more. Right. But it was never going to take off because I wasn't all in. I wasn't committed to it. Exactly. Um, and I can say for myself, it was the same thing. I remember um, when we we talked seriously about me um, leaving corporate and coming on full time. And I remember a conversation with you saying, yeah, you know, that sounds pretty awesome. Uh, what do my days off look like? Right. And um, I want one day a week to clean the house and I want another day a week to run the errands and stuff. And now looking back on that, it was like I was kind of doing the uh, what's it called where you just talk <laughs> like you were. I wasn't all in. Bull Jeff. So I was. Oh, man, you're, I was a bull jiver. Bull Jeff. So this was after you left corporate. Or this is was this while we were seriously talking about me leaving. And I remember you talking about you're like, write down your perfect day, do all these things. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be awesome. I'm like, I'm going to work like eight to noon. I'm going to set up massages. Like in my mind, I had this thing because I wasn't actually committed to it. Awesome. I was committed to the, the fantasy world that doesn't exist. <laughs> that, well, that's, that's another thing because uh, the one funnel challenge that we talked about, don't mm -hmm. worry about what a funnel is. It's, it's irrelevant for the conversation. Yep. But this challenge that we're doing, if, you, if you're easily misled mm -hmm. into believing you can be successful or an overnight sensation, there's no such thing. No. And people are all in as long as they think they're going to get a quick return. I've exactly. seen that too. People are like, of course I'm going to do it. And then 30, 45 days later, they're like, this sucks. I'm out. Exactly. Um, just further proof that they bull jab. Mm -hmm. they, they bull jab. <laughs> Which is me in my, in my former life, I guess. That's right. <laughs> so I think um, one of the big things that holds people back is um, friends. And I don't mean that meanly, but it's, if you are surrounded by friends who I would say they have settled into their life and maybe they're not doing what they wanted to do with it, or they aren't who they want to be or, mm -hmm. but they've just kind of accepted that's where they are in life. And one of the saddest things that I hear, especially being in my forties now are women younger than me who say, well, I'm older now, you know, I'm 35 years old and I, I can't just start over. Oh wow! You know, I we did start over, and I was I was forty exactly. Yeah, so they, they've already given up on themselves exactly. And I think that it can be sometimes that it's you are surrounded by you're surrounded by those friends, and that's I don't think they're doing you harm, but they're just not inspiring because they've settled. They're not lifting you up either. No, and they've ex they have accepted their life. Not saying it's bad, but they don't have the aspirations you do. And. It, to be honest, I think there's a handful of people that it makes uncomfortable when you rock the boat. Oh, definitely. So if you've got your drinking circles on the weekends, yes. you've got your golf buddies, or you've got your, I don't know what's popular. They're still doing Bunko. <laughs> Is that still a thing? It might be. So, but if you've got your circles where you have built a routine with other people that mm -hmm. are happy being the status quo, yeah, it's the first indicator that um, they don't have that. On, I, we say on, I'm saying entrepreneurial, but it's anybody with that aggressive "I want more out of life" yep. mindset. Exactly. Um, you've got the subdued, mm -hmm. and then you've got the exceptional, the people that look above their situation and they're like, "I I deserve more." Yep. Um, so you're saying friends can hold you back? I think friends can. Um, and you have you kind of led us on this crazy path, mm -hmm. and you got introduced to people, or you know, reached out and met new people who were all like that. So it's like that entrepreneurial, oh, that was a tricky word, uh, uh, mindset and people who they wanted to leave behind a legacy and they wanted to do big. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I found, I found some new people of mine that are going to, they understand me and they're going to encourage me. There, there was, I have, we have friends that are, that are millionaires. I've got friends that I know well that have done well, and I know friends that are kind of like second tier friends that have done really well. These are people I've associated with, and you're, it's the worst time to assess your life when you realize people your age have crushed it. Oh yeah, like and, they own yachts and <laughs> yeah, multiple yachts. Um, so f I think people also find that comfort, and they're like, "Well, don't bring your." This is coming to a point. We're not just sitting here trying to poke at any one bear. We're, no, no, this, no. we're speaking to the people that have ambition. Yes. Okay. So um, if suggesting to do something out of routine mm -hmm. or to, to break the pattern mm -hmm. or to, to have more out of life, it doesn't matter if you have kids. No. It doesn't matter if you're married. It doesn't matter if you're single. You don't have to have a retirement to cash in to risk. Exactly. Okay. So 
uh, the, the true entrepreneurial spirit will find a way to make it work. You, yep. you don't sit there and say, well, I would, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of all the things that, that can hold somebody back, um, we talk about friends, yep. the people that will more discourage you than encourage you. Mm -hmm. um, you've got family. Of yep. course, uh, I can I can sing all day to this one. You know <laughs> that they just don't understand where this compulsiveness comes from. Right. Um, you're born with it. It's, I don't think you could be taught this. No. Um, and yeah. family too is always gonna. They're always gonna have that worry that it's like, wait a minute, you want to do what exactly? Sure. You know, for us, just time real quick back to the gym. It's like. Um, you want to leave your what life behind and you're going to go from a, an amazing financial life to zero. Are you absolutely crazy? And I think it's worry for them. Got to roll the dice, man. Exactly. Oh yeah. Um, other people don't move forward because of fear of failure. Um, mm -hmm. and that's where you haven't even given it a shot and you've mm -hmm. already presumed you're going to fail. Exactly. Um, that would probably hold me back more than fear of success, which is also another, People can't handle the attention. They can't handle the money. They can't handle um, what comes with a successful um, uh, endeavor. Absolutely. I don't understand that one at all. Fear of failure, I usually won't jump into things unless I know I can crush them. Right. So um, not only did I have to settle that fear because this was a huge unknown, mm -hmm. um, then you had to settle with gambling our future, gambling our finances, gamble, 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 oh, yeah. gamble. And you know, it's funny with that. We're the opposite in that. So failure, I'll jump in two feet without even thinking about it. But if I see a path for success, it scares the bejesus out of me because oh, it's wow. like, wait a minute, why do I, do I deserve this? Yes, I work hard, but everybody works hard. And so it's that. Oh, damn. Yeah. So we're totally opposite in that, which is, it's fun. It's shocker. Wow. It's, yeah. <laughs> so the, 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 yeah, I love it. I don't remember where I heard it the first time, but the idea is, uh, it, you can, you can put it back into our Christian roots, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, if you, you pray enough for something, it'll be given to you. Yep. If you want something bad enough, the universe will give it to you. Um, but yes. you have to, your voice has to speak above the fray louder mm -hmm. and bolder and more consistently to get that thing that you want. But Definitely. if you just are one of those people, it's like, Oh, I'd like to be successful. <laughs> and you say it once or twice, you're not going to be successful. It needs to be the loudest voice in your head. It needs to be the loudest voice. Your friends hear your family hears, then you will be successful. Exactly. Um, so like you said earlier, don't be, don't be the dabbler. Don't just kind of, you know, don't have one foot in and one foot out. Like you jump into that pool. I think we've said that before, like cannonball or jackknife into that pool. There's no going back. Yes. And looking back now, I was a dabbler, so I can talk crap about dabblers. <laughs> um, if there is somebody that's listening, um, well, I like the, the amount of money I'm making now, I'm good. Or, well, I like to have my weekends off. Mm -hmm. Or, eh, I, you know, I, I just will never give up family dinners. You are a dabbler. Yep. Okay, you, you are somebody that um, is content being average. Mm -hmm. This is going to get me in trouble. It's you're content being average because but you have potential to do more and be more. If you want it. Everyone. Yes. You have to want it. The, yes. the main ingredient is desire. Exactly. Um, if you truly love your life and you're considered, you know, average by your own standards or society standards, rock on with your bad well, self. So, it, but if you're not content, well, here's a, here's a great question. Then why do anything? If you're going to do 50% and be a D student your entire life, why bother? I, I, I don't, then stay home and, and eat Cheetos and play Xbox all day. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why people, they, they, they say they're in business. Right. They say they have a small business and you know, you haven't, your revenue hasn't even come into the, the, the ten thousands of revenue yet. Right. And I'm talking a lot of crap because I'm sure all small business owners go through this at times, especially the ones that where you got to lay it all out there. I've never worked so hard in my life and I've never been paid so little in my life. Oh yeah. I've never had more satisfaction. Mm -hmm. I've never had more gratitude and I've never been able to influence and impact people like I can now. Yes. Which is completely the opposite of what I was told in school, which was go make a shit ton of money. Yep. We just went to an explicit show. No, you already again. did that a few I, episodes ago, I think. But yeah, but I think every episode you can be explicit. <laughs> um, but in school they're telling you hold a job. And I was, I'm old enough that pension was still a word right. that was used when I was growing up. You want to get into a job, you stick around for 40, 50 years, mm -hmm. get your pension, go home, die at 65. And now anytime I hear someone that talks about small business, we, we started up a Facebook group um, called Barbells for Business. Mm -hmm. And the idea was we're just going to share. And it's not, a, 
the intent was to inspire each other to stay in this business game. Yes. It wasn't to network and it wasn't to do all that kind of goofy things. But mm-hmm. I, I kind of get off talking to small business warriors. I know you do. I mean, it's it, when to see someone that says, you're putting in the work, man. I, I can see it in your eyes. Mm-hmm. You want this so bad. Um, but the dabblers, I'm just like, yeah, this the, that group's not a fit for you. You right. know, if you're part-time and it just, don't sweat it. You know, you're doing good, you know, working an extra 30 hours a month for an extra 500 bucks. I mean, that's craziness to me. But exactly. I'm going off a tangent again. <laughs> I'm the tangent, like I'm the tangent said, side of the show, and Jenny's not. I like that you said Cheetos and Xbox. That's, that's what I'd be doing. If I didn't have a job, I'd be, that's exactly what I'd be doing. You wouldn't be eating Cheetos, let's be honest. Uh, oh, no way. What would I be eating? Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. He's bull driving right now saying he'd eat <laughs> Cheetos. So I think that <laughs> the, the whole point of this is just, I, I'm hoping, is meant to inspire people to say, it doesn't matter what your circumstances are in your life. If you've got a vision, a dream, there is something that a legacy that you want to leave behind, do it. Do it whether it means adding in new friends, doing it whether it means, you know, telling your parents, I know that you you played it safe financially and thank you for everything that you've done, but I have to go on my own path and Drain my retirement and do everything else. Flush um, my master's degree. Exactly. <laughs> so it, it started out with a little bit of, I guess, levity and just trying to pick on situations. <laughs> but um, we've seen people in the business conferences we've been going to lately. Um, we saw teenagers and yeah. we saw 50s and 60-year-old people yep. starting over. Yep. And if you want something... You really have the opportunity to become, they used to tell us in high school, you can be whatever you want when you grow up. Yes. But now what it is, you've grown up, you can still be whatever you want. Amen. And if you want to pursue, you were given a talent. God gave you something that you are great at. It's mm-hmm. it's that one thing that he uses for his purpose. Right. But along this path, that purpose has made you an expert in what you do. Right. Everyone's got this. We hide it. Um, I wanted to be a writer mm-hmm. when I was a kid. Okay. So that doesn't make money. So I hid it and I suppressed it. Right. Um, the talents that you have that are used for his purpose, it is your duty and your responsibility to share that with the world. Right. And your business is your outlet mm-hmm. to do that thing. So it doesn't matter how old you are. No. Um, it, it doesn't matter if Mm-mm. you're just getting started in this thing that you, you've kind of kept quiet your whole life. Um, you just have to decide, and it doesn't take days. It takes a moment. In one moment, your path can change. Absolutely. So there is no, you were talking about earlier offline, that there is no perfect time. No, you're, no, no, no. You're never going to have enough money. No. The situation's <laughs> never going to be right. No. Your family's never going to be all healthy at the same time. Yes. You know, um, it will, it was Tony Robbins. You can change your path in an instant. Yes. You get done listening to this and you say, I'm doing it. And you do it. And you burn your ships. You burn your ships. Then you that, go all in. That, that analogy is there's no way to go home yes. once the ships are gone. So you, you torch them. Exactly. And, and then you've got nothing left to do but to fight to survive. Which is what we did. That's what we're doing. And we're doing. That's right. So we're, this is a lot of influence from a lot of different people. We've been around a lot of great um, business mentors the uh, last couple months. And um, it's the start of still a new year. So this is still a really great time to be aggressive with your purpose. Heck yes. And um, if you get a chance to go all in, it's all in on something, your legacy will be the work you put into that thing and how much you leverage your gifts to help those around you. That's your legacy. Kids are part of it. You know, it's not a foundation. You know, it's even your kids. You can either be mom and dad or you can be dad the great or mom the great. My mom did this. My mom was 50 years old, started a business, and she changed a million other women's lives by doing these things. Um, That's a legacy. Absolutely. That's how you leave your footprint. I love it. All right. This was was a mini show. Exactly. Um, I like a mini show. Hopefully I didn't. We inspired more than insulted. <laughs> I, hopefully. You never really know with us. Don't dabble. Exactly. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got anything else? I, I, I have like my final thought was um, if success was easy, mm-hmm. 
there would be no such thing as successful people and unsuccessful people. If because we would, was easy. if it That's was right. easy, because we'd all be successful. That's right. We wouldn't know failure. We wouldn't know it. So don't let family, friends, fear of failure, fear of success. Um, don't let any of it hold you back. Like go for it and be successful in whatever it is that rocks your world. And, and it doesn't have to be money. I guess no. I, I'm, I'm not a money person. If you know me, I was a money person when I was a dink. I'm not now. No. But if your thing is charity, yes. if it's working with uh, the community, if it's the homeless, if it's an animal shelter, if it's your gift, Do wherever it. your gift takes you, yeah. Do it. Do it today. Make the decision. Exactly. Hit hit pause or stop on this and well, whatever you're going to do. We're done now, so it'll be over. Do it. Um, cool. Okay. This is a good one. All right, y'all. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Beyond the Dumbbell Show. We know you have thousands of options for content and entertainment. We appreciate you spending time with us. If you enjoyed our show, please share our web address, www.beyondthedumbbells.com, and maybe drop us a review. Until next time, live beyond.